that I've had to fight skill wise. You know, he's uh, he has great strikes uh, on the feet and, uh, you know, he has great jujitsu. So it's it's one of those things where um, anywhere on the fight is uh, is going to be a tough spot. But I'm excited to show, you know, my skill level on the feet and my skill level on the ground. You know, if you look how many submissions he has, if you look at my record, you see uh, just as many uh, finishes by submission as well. Of course, you were supposed to fight uh, Achilles Moda back in uh, in March on this first event that was a, a casualty of this whole pandemic. Talk to me a bit about how your training has been since then and and sort of how you've how you've kept the uh, the intensity going when when everything was so uncertain about when you would get back in the cage, if you would get back in the cage uh, this year, and, and a bit about that. Uh, yeah, you know that was that was really tough to to train for a full training camp and then come to to not fight and then after that you know everything really did slow down I didn't get to train as much as I wanted to and then then once things started opening back up uh then you know we started getting you know feeling a little more safe you start calling your training partners up and things start opening up and you start training and things kind of went back to to normal uh pretty much inside the gyms and luckily I have my own gym so I was able to do my you know strength conditioning and bag work on my own and stuff so uh, I was able to stay uh, pretty active most of the time. How does this fight end on uh, on Thursday night? Um, I, I honestly, I, I don't, I don't know how this is, how it's going to end, but uh, um, I, it is going to end with my hand raised. Uh, I am, I don't know if I'm going to finish on the feet or on the ground, um, but but I but I plan on getting another finish on my record and uh, and putting my name as a, a staple in uh, Bellator. All right, we'll take a couple more here, Luis. So you have amassed over the last eight years a 16 and three record, and two of those three losses come from a former UFC fighter in PFL. Now you are off to a fresh start in Bellator. How do you feel, and what would be your main goal in this promotion? Uh, I'm excited to fight for Bellator, and uh, my main goal in, in Bellator is to get my name out there and known, and uh, you know eventually uh, fight for a title fight. So uh, the goal right now is just, you know, as the names come, take them on, take them down. And basing, uh, basing us from your experience, do you feel like kind of ready to, to ask for that title shot in a couple of fights? Um, I feel like a big win tonight. And then uh, whatever next is on the, uh, the, the table that they offer, um, everything is, is leading to something like that. Yes. Last one, Rick. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good. My question is, now you're coming into Bellator, you used to fight in, P um, if I'm correct, PFL. How's the transition from going to PFL to Bellator? Um, the transition's been been great. You know, um, you know, PFL was, uh, was a good organization. Uh, they gave me some opportunities, and um, it was great to, to fight for them, and now, you know, the opportunity has come uh, over here at Bellator, and I'm very excited to uh, be part of this organization. All right, Nate, thanks for the time today, and good luck the rest of the week. Thank you.